break out fast. I remember when I was with Oklahoma City Thunder, I remember th there was this guy, uh, he was not even Muslim. He wanted to fast with me for with three days because he wanted to understand how an NBA player body feels when he's fasting. So he fasted he fast with me three days, uh, a lifting coach, and after three days he quit, of course. He said, I, I, I had to have my coffee, like a lot of Americans does. Um, but I think it was a really cool thing that he was just trying to fast with me and see how, how my body feels. Good morning, everybody. As you see, it's 3.42 and I'm very tired. In 30 days you fast, you wake up around 3 to 3.30, so it changes, and then you eat something. You don't want to eat too much because then you're going to get really thirsty when you wake up. For summer, <clears throat> of course, I have some fruit. I got some corn. I'm, I like to eat light. I got my peanut butter. I have my yogurt and smoothie. And of course, a lot of water. For the last thing, you need some energy, right? So, I got my cheat meal here, cupcakes. And then you wake up, uh, you do your daily routine. And then uh, it depends on the time. If it's summertime, well, it's the, you know, the days are longer. So you break your fast around 8, 8.30. Uh, and then do the same uh, routine for around 30 days. You understand all these poor people out there because there is, I'm hearing million stories out there that you know people can't even find clean water to drink. Not even, I'm not even talking about food. I'm, they they can't even find a clean water to drink. Today we're going to Matter High School. Uh, we do this every week. Uh, we pick a school, high school, or you know just a prep school. Sometimes we go there and visit them, visit the kids, just inspire them about basketball, about life. They they have a lot of questions about NBA, of course. One thing that we're gonna do is we're visiting a, a student club. It's called Bam. It's called Becoming a Man. So there'll be just boys there, and that's we'll talk to them about becoming a man because then it's a man. Yeah, okay. The <laughs> ceiling's too low. No, you're just too tall. When I was 13, 14 years old, like in their age, my dad told me that it doesn't matter where you're for, where you're gonna get your number one priority is education. You know, you gotta watch what you eat. You gotta, uh, you gotta take care of your body. You cannot just sit and play Fortnite all day. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't play any video games or something? I play sometimes. I play 2K sometimes. Do you use yourself? <laughs> 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 no, because they're really slow. So. Oh. <laughs> and I can shoot three. I can hit threes. I wanted to be a soccer player when I was growing up, and it was because I was too tall for it, and it didn't really work out. I'm glad it didn't work out. And then uh, I switched sports. I went to basketball. From the day one, I stopped playing basketball. My dream was, you know, become an NBA player one day. And then, uh, you know, I was just trying to reach for my dreams. Uh, we're in a lifetime, I'm just gonna work out around 45 minutes an hour. Uh, by the way, we're still, we're still fasting. No eating and no water, no drinking. So it's gonna be, let's see. And I think right now I feel pretty good. See how am I gonna feel after practice. I think the fasting is an amazing thing. I do it even during the season twice a week because I think it just, Keeps your body in a really good shape. Now you know I'm. I barely even get you know thirsty. Or just I, I I don't even get hungry. How are you feeling? Not bad. Not bad. I can get through it. Yeah. After the practice, I get thirsty for maybe like for 10 minutes, and then after that, I don't hardly I hardly feel it. For my kids to go ahead and have an athlete that they can look up to and fast during Ramadan as well as playing the NBA, I think is a huge blessing. I just came to pick up my kids because I didn't want to go work out because I'm fasting. For him to be able to go ahead and do that and not just do it out of his own will to go ahead and train, I think that's huge. I love challenging myself. So I never quit before, but uh, there was some moments like I was like, man, I cannot do, I cannot take one one more step. I was so tired, I'm so exhausted. I just wanna go and just take a cold shower and then just go home, wait, wait, wait for the uh, break my fast, but I think I, I never quit. Okay, we have less than 30 minutes left. 
Uh, and this is one of my actually favorite uh, Chinese restaurants in Chicago. It's of course it's 100% halal, Zabiha. And we're gonna get there, we're gonna eat it, we're gonna order it. So when the, as soon as the time is done, we're gonna start eating. So I'm really, really excited about it. You guys excited? Yes. You wanna start, you don't wanna be like a, like an animal, like just, just keep going like crazy, but you have to be slow and then you just take it easy because you did not have anything in your stomach for like hours. So you just want to definitely go easy. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we can break up fast. Then we, we pray first. You know, my, my prayer is most of it is just the, the universal peace. I just want to know people from background, different religion, different whatever. We come together and just uh, try to make this world in a better place to live in. And then we need to do it as a as together we to work out work out as a together. So that was my frame and then so we can we can break up fast now. Ready? Uh, we say Bismillah is Bismillah in the name of God. Means the, with the name of God we say the most merciful. Yes, the most merciful. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. so good. I'm drink my water now. I don't need this. I don't need this. You don't eat or drink anything all day, so when the you know when the sun is down, you're like, oh, I, I can eat everything. I can eat the whole cow if I can, you know. But in Ramadan, I, I don't have any diet or anything because I think you need to let your body rest, especially because you put so much uh, on your body. And I practice during Ramadan, and uh, so nighttime I eat everything. I eat red meat, I eat sweets, I eat carb. So I just. Ramadan is like my off my 30 days of, 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 of time. It's your cheat days. It's your cheat, cheat month. month. There you go, we can say it that way. 